Hi, I'm Bobby Freeman with Remax Elite's McCoy Freeman Group, and I'm also the real estate columnist for SpaceCoastDaily.com. Well, in the past, I've written articles about scams and frauds and, and things out there that just aren't right. Uh, today, I had a phone call from a gentleman that said my computer was hacked and I needed to do something about it. So I don't want this to happen to you. I didn't fall for this scam, uh, but I wanted to bring your attention. Enjoy the audio and you'll hear how it goes. If you get a phone call like this, hang up. Enjoy. Now exactly what do you see in your computer screen right now? Well, it's kind of locked up right now, but you, so somebody's hacked my computer right now, you're saying, huh? Yeah, I see. That. I think that somebody tried to hack your computer. You need to see that. How the hacker tried to hack your computer, right? Well, it has been messing up in the last couple of days. Um, shoot, okay. Uh, well, how do you fix it? You need to fix the problem. We are not going to fix anything, okay? We just try to uh, show you all the problem, okay? I'm not telling you how you can fix the problem. I'm not going to fix the problem. You need to fix the problem by yourself because it's your computer, which is hacked by the computer, so it's your responsibility to fix the problem. But we are the authorized to uh, show you all the problem, okay? So that is the reason we are providing this call to you. Okay? Okay. So your computer is on right now? Uh, yes. Okay, now exactly what can you see in your computer screen right now? Uh, my Gmail account. The Gmail account. You need to close the internet pages, okay? So you need to close the internet pages and back to your home page. They're telling you you no need to go online. No need to browse the internet because if you go to the internet, a hacker can access your computer. So but you need to block the gateway of the hacker. Then you can use the internet, okay? Okay. So just close the Gmail account and back to your home page where you can see all the icons, okay? Okay. So you can see all the icons right now, right? Yes. So I'm going to show you all the problems at first. Now look on the keyboard. On the left hand side, bottom corner, you can see the CTRL key, the control key, right? Right. And just beside the control key, which key can you see? Uh, next to the control key? Exactly. Next to the control key. Uh, there's the uh, space bar. Right. right. So, uh, like four flag windows key. Okay. Can you see that? Yes. You can see the four flag windows key, right? The full, you said full screen? No, no, just beside the control key, can you see the four flag windows key? Which looks like a little four flag. Little four flag. Can you see that? Okay, yeah, push it. Yeah. You okay. need to press and hold the four flag windows key at first, okay? Okay. Press and hold it down. And by helping the another finger, press the letter R. R like Robert. Okay? Okay, what's that gonna do? R and Robert. Okay. What's that gonna do? What? What is that gonna do? I'm telling you that what you need to do. I'm telling you the procedure, right? You need to follow the procedure. Then you can see all the problems. Right? Okay. So just do that. Press and hold the Windows key and then press the letter R, R like Robert. Now take a look on the computer screen. Uh, anything has come up in your computer screen? Okay, this is, uh, you said on the, the, the Windows key, right? Yes, press and hold the Windows key at first. And now press the letter R, R like Robert. Windows and R, okay? Windows key. Yeah. Then R, R like Robert. Now look on the computer screen, anything is come up? Uh, nothing happened. Nothing happened? Okay. Which buttons you are pressing? Uh, the buttons you told me to press. Okay, we're just holding the line. Just holding the line. Okay, now which buttons, how many buttons, which side buttons you are pressing? The buttons you told me and the R key. Pardon? The the button that I hit the the button next to the control key and then the R key. Okay, now release your finger from okay. the keyboard. Okay. Now what can you see on your computer screen right now? I didn't do anything. Um, how did you know a, a hacker got into my computer? Can I ask you that? 
because it hasn't been working good lately, but how did you guys know that somebody hacked in my computer? Because we are getting some warning message from your computer into our global IP server. Oh, I did see a, a warning thing come up yet last night and just clicked it off. Um, okay. Um, so what else do I do? So what I'm telling you, you just need to you just need to do this thing on your computer screen so that you can see what's going wrong in the computer. Does it matter what? I mean, I have an old operating system. Does that make a difference? Now, you are pressing two buttons, nothing is happening, like it's not responding. Yeah, like I said, my computer's been messed up for the last couple of days, so somebody probably did hack into it. Okay, so right now, don't go online. I believe you know, without going online, no one can get into your computer. Should I unplug it from the internet, from the wall? Exactly, exactly. Yep, you can do that. Okay. And after that, come back to your main screen where you see all the icons. Okay. You can see the main screen with all the icons. Uh, yes. The desktop? Right. Yep. You're on desktop screen, right? Okay. All right. Now, look on your keyboard. At the left hand bottom corner, you can see the control button. Right. Yeah, right. Right. Just, just beside that, you can see a four flag Windows button, right? The Windows button. Um. Like a four square. Like, can you see that? I see a square. Yeah. Okay. Press it once. Okay. Now what comes up? Um, pressing and nothing's coming up. Okay. I got it. Restart your computer. Okay. It is not responding. So restart your computer. Okay. Uh, you know, I've got a, two computers. So is it both computers are infected or just one or do you know? Uh, like uh, you are using one internet to the both computers or two different internet connections to the both uh, two computers? It's, it's the same. Okay. In that case, the same problem might be there in the other computer as you are using the same internet connection to the two computers. Is this, turn is this, is this, is this, turn on any one of them, okay? Is this on, uh, is this pretty common for, for PCs, if, for this to happen? Yes. Right, these are happening, like, uh, if you have internet connection and using a Windows operating system, the hackers can easily get access into the computer and sometimes computer is not responding it is slowing down it is happening okay all right oh I see so on the on the Windows uh, computers that, that, that's happening pretty common right right okay and and so and you guys were able to detect that and find out that somebody hacked into my Windows uh, computer right right Okay. Um, I don't have a Windows computer. I, I have a Macintosh, so what do I do? You, 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 have, you have two Macintosh computers or one Macintosh? Two. <laughs> Looks like they hung up. <laughs>